Alright, I've got nothing in this unit. No pressure. Valves are open. Traders are pushed in. I got nothing. So I'm going to put some tracer gas in there. And then we'll find the leak with the SRL8. Okay. 136 PSI standing pressure in the unit. 410A. Got the SRL8 warmed up. I've went over everything out here. Haven't really found anything. Um, I don't really see anything in the bottom down there that would be indicative of a leak. So, but uh, knowing this manufacturer, I'm going to have to guess it's probably the indoor coil. So I'm going to brave the crawl space now and see if we can find a leak in the indoor coil. Okay, so this is why you have to be thorough. I put the pound of the figure in it, and I didn't find anything at the air handler with my leak detector. When I searched my leak detector right here, I just checked the valves, you know, down there, and just, you know, ran it around this side of the coil where the, you know, distributor tubes or the capillary tubes are. I didn't come up with anything out here. I didn't take the grill off there when I had the leak detector in it, so I recovered that uh, small charge back out of it. And put nitrogen in there and then I used uh, a method that I've seen Ralph from TNN services use you can close these valves here on a heat pump you've got the charging port which goes just to the outdoor unit and then you can put one one port on the line set and coil so I've got my blue hose on the line set and the coil and I've got my red hose on the outdoor unit we started out at 272.4 this has actually climbed uh, four tenths up to 272.8 and this you can see has dropped to 264 uh, which the red hose is going to the heat pump the heat charging port in the outdoor unit so I knew my leak was in the outdoor unit so I went ahead and got my leak detector and just started spraying out here and I found it right there how many times you see a reversing valve leak right there I haven't checked the other ones I think that's the only one Definitely leaking right there. Wow. <laughs> Check that out. I'm going to check everything else in here. I'm pretty sure that's going to be about it for this leak search. Because what it, what it was, I started spraying these joints here where the reversing valve was soldered or brazed in. And I didn't get anything, but when I, when I was doing that, you know, the bubbles ran down to right there. And that's where our leak is. So we're going to need a new reversing valve. Yeah. Well, that'll conclude today's leak search. That'll conclude this one anyway. Nice.